I still have poison. I can poison everybody. Dang it, how many times do I have to poison these people? Welcome back everybody to Creepy Tale Episode 3. My name is Gracie and thank you for watching this series with me. Very fun little game so far. So where we are right now is we're at some kind of creepy witch's house in the forest. We tried to get some bread from her but she bonked me on the head with a bone and put me in some cages to eat me along with some other kids. So uh, I had to restart from the beginning of the chapter so I've just been kind of redoing some of the stuff I did on the last episode before I was rudely strangled to death by the creepy old witch lady. So right now what I'm doing is just taking a look at this paper again because this is some kind of clue. When you use the watering cans on that plant outside, it changes the leaves. And there's a, there's a sign inside the house that says something about moon, spider web, pitchfork, and bird. So there's also a bird inside and I'm wondering if I'm supposed to acquire this thing somehow and give it to the, um, the bird. Um, so let's head back out. Let's go back into the, into the house. Yeah, here's the plant. So... I'm not allowed to pick it up even though I need these leather things. I need to find something to carry it in. So I can now I can touch it with these gloves on, but I I, I don't have a container for it. I can use this on it. And it changes it. I need to find But I'm not allowed to pick it up still. So let's head back on into the house. Can I tell these kids I'm going to help them? Hold on. I'm not going You're good. You the keys to the cages must the witch never lets them out. It's no use not a chance Right, we did talk to them. So if the keys are on her belt, let's not go in that door this time That's how we die. Then we need to knock her out somehow Now there's this guy upstairs who will ring his bell and that calls her back up to him So let's see what what she does here. I think she attends him. So I think we need to get up into Oh, yeah, okay Okay, so she feeds him. Oh, I can hide behind here. What else is here? Oh, leg a la bacasa, special goulash, broth of wisdom, sweet tooth. Whoops, probably shouldn't have been reading that book where she could see me. Do I have all my stuff still? Yeah, I do. So now she's going to go upstairs and attend to that guy. She forgot all about the fact that she just strangled me to death. See, here's the sign. Moon, spider web, fork, bird. But what does that do for me? Nothing else in here. Here's a bird. Oh, here's, I got a bowl. I got a bowl. Oh, I can hide back here. Perfect. Okay. Is she feeding that dude kids, I guess? It's kind of pretty messed up. Looks like the squirrel soup I heard about. Oh, she's inspecting that bird. Oh, now he's hungry again. Can I go in there? I don't know, that's pretty weird. Let's just wait here. Look how creepy he is. He's like, hey, I can't wait to eat some kids. Nobody in this family ever closes their mouth all the way. Okay, all right, let's go get some leaves. Okay, so we've got a bowl. I probably need to put something in that broth to like knock the guy out or something and then I can go into his room because if he stops summoning her maybe I can get in there and mess around why did I come back in here oh yeah so maybe this is for going to sleep so let's get the the maple leaf looking one and see if that'll put the guy to sleep so how do we do that get the one of these watering cans nope not that one let's try that one again Okay, now we've got maple leaf. So now we've got a bowl of mortar and pestle. Oh, can we can we use that with something like the? I can't even not the best. All right, so let's take that inside. We've got a mortar and pestle. Just standing here. And... I'm not going in there. 
So if I have a mortar and pestle with this leaf in it, but I'm not allowed to use it to grind it up. So maybe I need to go and put it in the, the soup. This must be exhausting taking care of this guy. He needs to eat every 30 seconds. She's like muttering to herself like, oh, I can't go feed this guy again. I wonder if the color means something. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't do it. Looks like the square. I'm not allowed to. Uh... Maybe I should go in there and see what he does once she leaves. Does she put the bowl down? She does. She puts the bowl down. Can we mess with it? No, we can't mess with it. Can't mess with it here. Okay, he's summoning her again. Oh, shit! That guy's fast as hell! What in the world? So I can't go in there because he'll just eat my neck, which is pretty weird. Uh, okay, what do we do with this mortar and pestle? So we have pitch... I don't know if the color means something. Wait, maybe it does because the the moon was yellow and then we have this colorful watering can that, oh, it changes the color. Oh no, again, I'm colorblind. I think this is it. So now I have yellow. Oh, I have, oh no, there's multiple leaves in here. Maybe I need each of the uh, correct ingredients, right? Like I have to get a, like a blue bird and a red whatever. Let me go look at that sign again. Okay, it's yellow, green web, blue pitchfork, red bird. So I'm, I'm gonna write that down. All right, I'm back to the um, drawer full of random papers. So we have the moon is like the maple leaf. So we've got the maple. The web is like the fern looking thing and that's green. The pitchfork is like the long leaf and the pitchfork is blue and then the red bird is like the broad leaf. So let's grab those and then, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. All right, so I emptied the thing out by filling it up with uh, different stuff. So we have, hang on, let me consult my notes. We've got the yellow maple, which is what we have here. Now we want a green fern. So let's change this. Okay, it turns into the broad leaf and we want red. Now that's, oh no, see now I'm colorblind. Now, what is that? Now I couldn't for the life of me tell you what color this uh, leaf is right now. So let's switch over to blue. And I know what blue is supposed to be. It's supposed to be that long leaf. So let's switch it over. There we go. That's that's one that we need. So now I'm going to have to do a little bit of experimenting with the other two because I cannot tell what these are. That's yellow. Probably. That's... I think that's red. That might be green. The green is the fern. fern. So let's grab that. And then we want red there we go so let's grab one of these i think that's enough leaves i need to grind them down and see what i get okay the powder has a slight glow and smells faintly of almonds could it be have i actually made a poison oh boy if you've watched me play creepy tale one you'd be no stranger to playing as a little boy who murders somebody so they can get in through their house So I have with me Moltak. mortar containing poison. So now we gotta wait for this guy. So wait, when when she poisons him, she'll just she'll kill him. But then, how do I get the keys off of her belt? 
She's not gonna like taste it after he dies and then be like, yep, that's poison. All right, so we wait till she goes upstairs. My God, this guy eats a lot of soup. Okay, put the put the poison in. All right. Okay, now we hide. Hide behind this barrel. Is that a plant growing eyeballs on the far left? So there's nothing to do now until it's poison time. I want to read this, but I can't because... Oh, leg from a plump infant. Oh, I gotta hide. Maybe it's best if I don't read that book. tell it was poisoned and he just kicked her out that's weird so he's not gonna call for her anymore well now what do we do Can I... The door is locked. okay i don't want to go in there anyway that guy will kill me on sight so what does she do now she's not gonna have any soup herself is she oh she's gonna go sit down she's gonna take a break because she finally doesn't have to uh feed this guy constantly uh oh, don't come up here. Okay. So maybe I can sneak over behind her when she's um, getting a drink and steal the keys off of her belt. And then run out the door. Or I could stab her. What if instead I just... Stop. Nope! Go out the door! Oh! Did she just forget? Did she just forget that I was here? I still have poison. Oh, I could poison her cup! Of course! Ah! She was wet! Okay, go out the door! Okay, now we run over to the other door, which she'll never suspect. We better go upstairs and hide for a second. What is she? Got a cat. It's getting involved in this process. Now she's, what's she doing? Patrolling for me? Okay, so she's gonna go mess with her bird. Go, 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 go. Go! Poison the... Go! Run! So if I wait long enough, she'll just be dead in there, right? Oh, she doesn't feel... I still have poison. I can poison everybody. Is she gonna drink again? Dang it, how many times do I have to poison these people? You'd think the first time she... <laughs> I'd say I've fooled these two people with poison twice now, and she's still not caught on to the fact that something's going off. Maybe she should go outside and check on those kids, huh? Maybe I gotta poison it like a bunch of times. Let's just load this thing up with poison. Oh, I can't. Go! All right, come on, have your have your drink. Cassis, <sighs> Cassis, the door is. Oh, I need to wait until she lays down. She sits down and then steal the keys off of her ring when she's like busy 
feeling like crap because I poisoned her. <gasps> okay, now you're... You're not telling me that I have to get the dagger out to finish this, right? I don't know that I want to stab this lady. Like, not because... Like, I... You all came here to watch me poison a lady for like 30 minutes straight, right? I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. There's got to be something I'm missing. I have a dagger, a bowl of poison, and that picture. So I haven't... There's got to be a way for me to use the, the dagger. So I'm not supposed to kill her. Can I get more like... I can't get more poison... I can't get anything off of this bush with that. Can I? Oh. What do I have? Cut thorn. Cut thorn. Okay, so I have a cut thorn. Do I do I combine it with the poison? I can't imagine how did that make that make. Am I supposed to put it on like her chair? How do I get in here without dying? Oh, uh, hello. Yes, yes. Okay. You won't be eating anyone ever again, you beast. <sighs> okay. Curses. None of the keys work. Save yourself. Forget about us. No way! After all that, I, I murdered a woman for you. Hold on a little longer. I'm going to look for different keys. Oh no, is it upstairs with that crazy grandpa guy that eats children? Oh boy. It is an eyeball tree. Stab him. Oh my god. home this cursed family is at an end yeah do not go inside thank you boy but we have no home don't make this place your home we can stay here chop down all the thorny weeds fix up the house and live happily oh my god i was kidding i didn't think they were actually going to try to live here not a bad idea fix the place up a little inside and enjoy life it's got everything you need but it's time for me to press on Farewell. There are there's two mutilated corpses inside. They're, they're children. Don't send them in there. You're gonna make the there's okay. There's a bucket of children's viscera on screen right now. Do not tell them to live here. That's ridiculous. Safe travels. Take care. All right. Enjoy your new home. Wow, it's wonderful. Invite me to the housewarming party. Hey, all the thorns are gone. Let's get the hell out of here. That was the worst. 
Okay, once another spook. Every loading screen, every new area has that spooky tree. Wait, haven't I been here? Oh, I, my dagger! Oh no! I can't, how am I gonna stab anybody else? All right, let's jump over to here. Never mind. Oh! Go, go, go. Oh, did she see me? No, she's busy. The girl with the monster is on the hand. The poor animal hid in this hole. I should help it. Yeah, maybe I could. There's a knife. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Knife caught from bone. <laughs> Puzzle ends with stabbing. Oh no. <laughs> I can't go down. The girl is standing right in front of the ladder. Just do like a a, a drop execution. Just get the dagger out of. <laughs> Hit her in the head with this pot. Here, drop the dagger on her head. All right, try this one. Nope. What's this? There's a worn spot on the branch. Cut it. No. Hit it with a pot. Where'd she send him? Oh, just to like look around for whoever did that? Look at him. F oh, he's floating, not walking on his tiptoes, right? Ah! Oh, she's gonna try to stab her. I mean, it's probably the answer to the riddle, right? I don't know what you want me to do with this knife. It seems obvious. Let me go back up. Nope. Okay, so I can't go past her. I can't go to the left or she'll spot me. So there's a worn area on the branch. There's some kind of vessel down there. Let me go, let me go behind this creature and see if I can pick it up or something. Here, okay, here's a. Hmm. The rope is. That was that was really close. Okay, so I've got the knife. I'm gonna go cut the rope off of the tree for some reason. Okay, go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now I have, um, I have this rope I can tie around here. Okay, now what, what's the purpose of this? Do I, do I attach the dagger to it so the monster runs into it and stabs himself? Can I combine? I can't imagine how to. <laughs> I mean, I can't either, but I don't know what to do. Oh, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Attach the pot to it. What is this do? What is, what am I doing? What is this doing? Why am I doing this? Okay. All right, go. Shit, shit, shit. Is he gonna come up here? Okay, what? Okay, let's hit him in the head. Can I put the knife in it? Go! What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm a monster! I'm the monster of this 
game. Okay, Lars, you can't just kill everyone you come across. Little princess, I found you. Lars, no. I have blood on my hands. Again. Did I have a chance to save you? Are you- this a game telling me that I did this? Ellie is in danger. If the girls are hunting in the forest, they could easily become the prey. I need to hurry. Thank you, boy. What is wrong with him? I didn't mean to... This is crazy. What matters is that we're alive. This isn't the first time I've been hunted. Our forest is governed by the law of the jungle. It's either you or me. They won't catch Yanni Anuers again. What do you think? Should I lay some traps? I think they'll stay clear of this place if you do. Oh, it could have hidden behind this. Oh boy. This looks safe. Strange boats, and there are no oars. Well, let me see if I can stab the tree until it gives me some oars. Oh, hey, buddy. Can you help me? I need to get across the river. Is that your boat on the bank? The boat? No. No, that belongs to the river. How am I supposed to get across to the other side? There are no oars for rowing. The boat, just like the river itself, is enchanted. If you want it to take you across, you need to bring it a gift. No. <laughs> this game is messed up. The boat has accepted my princess corpse sacrifice. It's an ominously long time to watch the boat ride. Well, everybody, I think we're about out of time for this episode. Just kidding. It's not up to me. I'm delighted to welcome a traveler to my humble abode. I'll bet you are weary from traveling and wish to rest. Yes, please follow me. Thank you. You're very kind, but I'm in a big hurry. Forgive my curiosity, but may I ask where you're rushing to? I need to find a cave and find my little sister. An evil spirit has possessed her mind. Hmm. I suppose you're seeking the cave located on that bloodstained island that lies next to ours. You know where it is? Please, show me the way. Only a desperate person seeking death would venture there. The road there is long, 
The Placid River soon becomes a channel of sewage teeming with evil spirits. That's pretty cool. I will be glad to help you, but I think you will only be up to the task of such a journey after a good night's sleep. Rest now, young man, and after we will equip you with everything you need and send you off in our best boat. People sail to our island so rarely, but we need company in the same way you need air to breathe. Please do us a kindness. Spend a few hours with us. I think I really need to rest for a few hours. Thank you. Please follow me upstairs. I will take you to the best room. I mean, if these owls are being sincere about this, that's extremely kind of them and very endearing. Uh, if they're trying to kill or eat me like everything else seems to be, then... Well, I guess that's just par for the course. Make yourself at home. I will go and see that the boat is made ready. Thank you again. I'll just rest for a short while, and then I'll be on my way. As you wish. Rest now, young man. Sleep well. <laughs> okay let's call it there all right thank you everybody for watching i really appreciate it uh please consider liking and subscribing especially if you're enjoying my content i would really really appreciate it and uh we'll be back in episode four to see what the heck these owls want with my dreams and uh what other kind of creatures we can find that we can stab so Again, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching.